Throughout the years, there have been many inspiring basketball stories. From being raised in poor and dangerous neighborhoods, to becoming NBA superstars, comebacks from career-threatening injuries, you name it. But perhaps none of these stories is more inspiring than this one. Hey guys, hope you're doing awesome. This is Purple Prince, and today I'll take a look at a one-armed man living his basketball dream. Hansel Emmanuel Donato Dominguez went viral in early 2021 for his flashy dunks, passes, and athleticism. He was an internet sensation, and still is. He did all of that despite having only one arm due to a childhood incident. Emmanuel was born in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. He grew up in Los Mania, which is one of the poorest neighborhoods in the city. Emmanuel actually liked and played baseball, but then the accident happened. At the age of six, a cinder block wall came down on Emmanuel and trapped him. One block fell onto his left arm. His father found him, but the arm tendons were shattered and the doctors told him the arm had to be amputated. Due to the amputation, he could no longer play baseball and instead focused on basketball. His dad was actually a professional basketball player in the Dominican Republic, so Emmanuel picked up a love for the sport and gave it everything. It wasn't easy in the beginning. Years later, in an interview, he told, I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't tie my shoelaces. I couldn't have a glass of water. Despite his life-altering injuries, he saw it as a blessing from God and continued to play. God always has a purpose. I'm living his mission, what he wants me to do in this life. Everything I do, I do it with God first and for my family. They're everything to me. Emmanuel started off by practicing dribbling with one hand. He continued to develop his game despite his limitations. He filmed his progress and filmed his game. Videos of his performance on the court quickly picked up plenty of attention. In 2020, coach Moses Michel at the Live Christian Academy in Florida saw the videos and decided to bring him over to play. As a 16-year-old, he immediately performed well. Now he's averaging 26 points, 11 rebounds and 7 assists per game. Oh, and just for good measure, he's also averaging 3.4 blocks per game. Emmanuel lived with Michelle and Angel Pimentel Montes, another student hosted by Michelle. Both athletes have been under scholarship with Life Christian Academy. These guys are something else. Not because they're Dominican or because I'm training them, but the dedication and how they perform on the court has led us all to give 200%, said Coach Michelle. In August 2021, Emmanuel received his first Division I offer from Tennessee State. A 6'5 combo guard has impressed all with his athleticism and skill set. He also has a deep three-point shooting range and is adept at getting to the foul line. He also has good court vision and great passing ability. He plays with intensity and has that special competitive drive about him. His team Angel Montes speaks highly of him. His game is not normal, it's like something supernatural. And it really is. And it's getting noticed. He has a large social media following on TikTok and Instagram where he shows off his skills. Even the all-time great Shaquille O'Neal has noticed him. I wish people understood how different Hansel Emmanuel is. He beat some of the best high school players with one arm. Emmanuel also appeared in J. Cole's Dreamer The Audacity series and he is popular and he plays good basketball. In February, Hansen Emmanuel received his third Division I NCAA offer. The University of Memphis offered the high school senior a spot on their roster. He still has offers from Tennessee State and Bethune-Cookman in Florida. You might be wondering, have there ever been any players like him before? Actually, yes. There have been three such players before. Grant Dykstra, whose right arm wasn't fully functional after getting caught in a grain auger and ripped apart. Grant went on to play in NCAA Division II and turned down several offers to play professionally in Europe. Kevin Law was born missing half of one arm. He spent three years in Manhattan College averaging 0.6 points. He went undrafted in the 2012 NBA draft and kinda quit meaningful basketball from there. And the most recent one, Zach Hotskins, also a 6'4 guard, spent two years with the Florida Gators. He was also born without the lower part of his left arm. In two years of college, he averaged 0.2 points in just 11 games. The fact that all these players made it to college playing basketball despite their limitations is inspiring. Unfortunately, playing professional basketball isn't their career now, but they defeated the odds nonetheless. 
Hansen and Manuel might just be the best out of them all. His game just looks different and let's hope he continues to impress in college and maybe one day in the NBA. Who knows, he might even play a game or two against or with his idols Kevin Durant and LeBron James. Right now, he's living his basketball dream. What do you think guys? How will Hansel and Emmanuel perform in college? Will he make it to the NBA? What do you think about his skill set? Please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video, share it with others and please subscribe to the channel and brighten my day. Oh, and also, don't forget to enable bell notifications to get notified when I upload. Thank you very much for watching. This is Purple Prince and I'm out.